This is JB's Baseball Cards, here today with another card opening video. Today I have a special hanger box of the new 2021 Top Series 1 Baseball. Uh, this is the Walgreens version, exclusive to Walgreens. They have six yellow base card parallels. Um, I found a couple at Walgreens. I was really happy I did. Tough to find cards there. A lot of times they're already taken. Um, I went on a Wednesday, so maybe they stock on a Wednesday and found a couple. Opened up one. I uh, was so really happy to get this Casey Mize uh, rookie card parallel and the Sixto Sanchez. You got the Kendrick, Buxton, uh, Trent Grisham, and Eduardo Rodriguez. I was really excited to get the Mize because I also got the purple uh, parallel from a Meyer Blister Pack, which was seen in an uh, earlier video on the channel. And I also have the blue parallel, which is found at Walmart. So now I have all three um, retail exclusive parallels of Casey Mize Rookie Guard all pulled and I didn't um, buy any or on eBay or anything like that. So happy I pulled them all. So I guess I'll be collecting him now. So I'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, these only cost $9.99, which is a lot better deal than Walmart has. I think it's 12 bucks at Walmart. And you get the six um, paper, uh, yellow cards. Uh, let me know if you've uh, if you're like me and you collect a certain guy because you had had a big hit of his. For me, it was uh, Glaber Torres. Uh, I got his in 2018 update series. I got a uh, red parallel of the Silver Pack 1983 design, numbered five out of five. That's off at PSA, and if it ever gets back from grading, I'll show it off on the channel. I think it should get a 10. That'll be a really cool card. Let's go ahead and get started here. I'll kind of take off the... Ooh, looks like there is a relic in here. Go ahead and take off the top. It's hard to show off all at once. It's such a big stack of cards. You get 68 car or 67 cards unless there is a relic, usually. Um, big rookies to chase this year. Alec Baum, Ryan Mountcastle, Joe Adele. Casey Mize, like I just showed. And there's definitely a couple others. Joey Bart, Dylan Carlson, really deep class. Um, not sure exactly who's going to be a superstar, uh, but there should be at least one or two, hopefully. And uh, so this makes it a really valuable um, Series 1. Series 1, the last couple years, has been pretty good. Before that, 2019 was bad. 2018 wasn't that great. Until recently, there's been a couple breakout players, but there's a nice Juan Soto on the, he's the cover boy, Tigers, Harrison, Arena, Ian Anderson, he's a good pitcher. He's probably at least top five pitchers in uh, Series 1 for the rookie cards. All right, looks like we got a uh, Relic. It's a thick card, you can tell. Let's see what it is here. Oh, it's a Cub, nice. I'm a Cubs fan, uh, if you didn't know, and so I'm happy to get this. It's Chris Bryant. Oh, nice, with the pinstripe. Very happy to get that card. Awesome card. Really happy. No matter who I get in the yellow parallels, I'll be really happy with this. Oh, and Joey Votto. He's one of the few I didn't have to complete the uh, 52 design collection. There's Glaber Torres. Strasburg and Alec Baum, one of the big rookies. There's Vladimir Guerrero Jr., 1986 design. All right, here's the yellow parallels. Let's see if we can get something good. Brandon Workman. Bobby Dalback, he's a good rookie card to get. Danny Santana. Miguel Andujar. Griffin Canning. Let's see what the last one is. Marlins team card. So that dollback was definitely the best one to get. Wouldn't that be nice if that was a real autograph? Fernando Tatis Jr. Now these are the through the years. It's like a reprint of an old card. Kind of a really bland back design. But some people hate those. I'm all right with them. Uh, I think people hated them at first because they uh, got psyched out and thought they got a really nice hit. But they didn't end up getting one. So I'd say a really good box even if I don't get another good rookie. There's a nice Luis Robert gold cup, rookie cup there. Lindor now with the Mets. Got the Chris Bryant relic. 
And of course, got the yellow parallels. Varsho. Espinal, Paredes. There's a good one, Christian Pache. Carrera. I noticed that the rookie cards seem to come in runs. So if you get one good rookie, a lot of times another good one's going to follow. Good one, Bauer. Garrett, there's a Reds run. Lemayhu, Perez, Bubik. Bo Burrows rookie. I think the Tigers have a, at least three rookie pitchers in Series 1. Bo Bichette and Jacob Junior. So I'd say a really, really good uh, pack, especially for me as a Cubs fan. Got this really nice Chris Bryant 1986 design relic card with a blue pinstripe on there. It says player worn memorabilia, so I guess that's new this year. It was worn by the featured player at least. At least we know it was worn by him. It's kind of beat up but on the back edges, but looks really cool on the front. Um, usually they are game used, but I don't know if that means they were used by that player or what. Because I have gotten a few relics that were like the same exact material from players on different teams even. Uh, I think Heritage Minor League... That happened to me, and uh, uh, it kind of just—I was kind of quizzical about it. Is this really from that player that was shown on the card? But at least I know it said it was worn by the featured player. So at least I know Chris Bryant wore this jersey, maybe at a photo shoot or something. He probably put on a couple just so they can make more uh, uh, relic cards of it. But still, I really like this card as a Cubs fan, definitely. I think I have the 1984 uh, design relic of him as well. So. That's nice to have that as well. And then I'll go ahead and show off the yellow parallels again. Workman, Bobby Dalback, that was the best yellow I'd say I got. Danny Santana, and Duhar, Canning, and the Marlins. And then I got that through the years of Tatis Jr. and the 86 design of Vlad Guerrero Jr. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you've had any success, success finding these at a Walgreens. I know they're really tough, even if they stock any. Uh, at most, they're going to do two or three, so it's tough to get a lot of them. But I was happy to get what I got, especially with the Relic card as a Cubs fan for the PC. So thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good day. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.